In this video, we'll explain when to extract your algae and why, and our method for determining the growth rate. We also explain how to split your algae and how to maintain a simple plastic bottle bioreactor. All right, so we're gonna talk about when to harvest. Um, there's a couple different ways to do this. You can harvest the entire bottle. That basically wipes out your sample. You can take a small sample of that and grow them back. Um, or you can harvest more at an optimal time. So here's a, a time lapse of, of, of some growth. So here we start out with very low, a couple days, a couple more days, a couple more days, and you grow up. And what this growth curve actually looks like, um, time, the number of, of cells or amount, depending on, on how you're measuring, will start out, and all growth curves will look like this. As they start hitting a carrying capacity, as something starts becoming a limiting factor, they'll start slowing down, and generally, the limiting factor is light, because you can add, um, you're bubbling all the air it possibly needs, and you can add fertilizer. So generally, light becomes a limiting factor, and what you end up with then is a curve that looks like this, and then it starts leveling out, and that level spot we call the carrying capacity, and that's where your growth is basically gonna come to a stop. This will be the maximum amount of cells will be found at this point, and if you harvest at this point, then you start back over here at square one. If you wanna harvest continuously and get the maximum amount of growth, then you wanna harvest when your cells, when your growth is somewhere in this zone. If you harvest down here, down at this point, you will not have enough cells. They have plenty of nutrients, plenty of sunlight, plenty of CO2, but they're so few, they're growing really slow. So you wanna wait a little bit. But if you harvest above this, up into this zone, then the speed of growth is slowing down, and so you're just wasting time letting it get denser and denser. If you harvest in this zone, you'll be doing, uh, you'll be doing really well in terms of the harvest rate. So you wanna harvest somewhere in this area. So you're gonna let it grow up to this point, harvest, you know, say here this would be 75% of capacity and cut it back down to 50% capacity and you'll get a faster turnover, faster growth rate, more cell production, more lipid production if you harvest in this zone instead of harvesting up here. A lot of people wanna harvest at this point because it's really dark, looks really good. It just takes a lot of time to get up there and we're counting total number of cells or total, total amount of lipid production. So if you can do it in here, several days in a row, you're gonna get a lot more lipid production over the long haul. So there's two different ways to do this harvest. Harvest the entire bottle or harvest at the right spot in your growth cycle. To determine the capacity, we measured the transmittance of each sample daily using a spectrometer. We were able to get a reasonable estimation of growth rate and when dieback would occur. We were also able to correlate our transmittance readings with the concentration of algae in the solutions by drying our algae. To do this, we first determined the transmittance of a certain species or system, then we weighed 10 milliliters of it, then dried our algae completely in an oven. We took a final mass reading, took the difference, and then multiplied by 100 to get density in grams per liter. We correlated this density with our transmittance values, so we were able to get a reasonable estimation of concentration just by measuring transmittance. For classroom setup, it is important to maintain consistent volume when water level gets below the mark. Simply add more medium. Have students make observations and take notes. To cheaply measure growth rate, we are working on developing a phone app that will give you the light density level of the algae. Follow us for further updates on growth algae for biofuel and the development of our app. 